Now there's just something amazingly cool about having a 100 inch screen in your room. The quality is just exceptional nowadays. And whereas some of you maybe thought the projectors were ugly, well, this thing is a piece of art. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's probably the best looking projector we've seen. But what about brightness? Well, here it is up against an OLED TV. Not bad, eh? Don't forget to hit the red button to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and click the notification bell to get my next video first. So a big thanks to the team at Nomadic for sending this across for me to review. This is the P2000 and it's a 4K triple laser ultra short throw projector. And it looks quite unique, but I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. I don't know why it's designed like this. I don't think it particularly adds any performance issue, but it certainly makes it stand out from an ever increasing crowded market. So this thing has got everything that you need on the back. It's got three HDMI ports, including an eARC port, and you've also got a couple of USB audio out, optical and an ethernet. There's even a connection on the bottom so that you can ceiling mount this, and you've also got two legs which will extend so that you can get the picture in the right place. And when we talk about the picture, wow, the picture on this thing is quite impressive. Now, obviously, one of the biggest benefits for this type of setup is the size of the screen that it will generate. But does it deteriorate too much from a standard TV that it's just not worth going that size? Well, this hopefully will give you an indication. On the left hand side in the corner there, I've got the Samsung S95C. This is the 2023 QD OLED. It's one of the best TVs available that you can buy. And obviously, I've got the Nomadic P2000 projecting behind it. Now, the reason that I've chosen this TV is that at launch, it was the identical price to the P2000. And so therefore that gives you some indication of what your money can buy. Now, the one thing to point out is we're not including the ALR screen, which is projecting onto, that would be an extra expense. But I am just amazed at how close this thing gets. Now, I know I can already hear some of you typing away saying, yes, but you're in a dark room. And I'll show you it in lighter conditions in just a second. But it is absolutely mind-blowing. This isn't a completely dark room. We've got that light on, remember, so that there is some ambient light so that it helps with the filming. But it is just incredible how close this gets. It's absolutely stunning. And in a lighter room, you can see that, yes, the TV does become brighter, but the projector also does an incredible job. It's so impressive. So it's important to know that this is in the trade what's known as a chunky monkey. It's 604 millimeters by 426 and it's 153 millimeters tall. And it weighs in at just over 10 kilos. And as you can see here, it is swallowing up my PS5 quite easily. So you do need a reasonable stand for it to sit on, but because it looks so good, you don't really notice it. Now I would be interested to know what your thoughts are. Do you think the design is good or do you think it's just a little bit over the top. Let me know in the comments. So we had a really sunny day recently and I thought it was an ideal opportunity to test how light this thing got. So as I raise the blind on the right hand side, it doesn't get any brighter than this guys. This is in the middle of the day and it was beautiful sunshine outside and you'll see the whole room light up. So the worst that this thing is going to get is what it is now. And I don't think it does a terrible job. With two 25 watt speakers, this is probably the best sounding ultra short throw laser projector that we've tested. And this was only 75% volume. The remote control is really nice looking and is also very smart. I like the added function that it's backlit and it can also control your third party devices if you set that to do so in the settings. Okay, so we brightened up the room and we're just gonna line up the screen before we go into any more detail. And that's very simple with this four point keystone correction. You can just literally adjust the four corners to get the picture looking as good as possible. There's also the added bonus of warping, which means you can really change every detail about the screen. Using the test pattern helps you to focus, and the good news is that all four corners are crystal clear and pin sharp. This really has got exceptional focus on it, and I think it will please everybody. 
As I've said before in previous projector videos, I don't mind a very basic operating system, one where there isn't really the ability to add that many apps. And with the Nomadic system, it's one of those. There is an app center which you can go into, but it is pretty limited. So what you do need is a third party device. I've got my Apple TV plugged in, and then you can access that simply by the screen on the left, just going to your different input selections. Where the P2000 may lack Android TV or Google TV, it makes up for in its advanced settings. Here you can go in and make a whole host of changes and get your projector set up exactly the way you want. You can control third party devices like your Apple TV for instance, all via the Nomadic remote control. And the audio settings are pretty good too. There's an equalizer built in, so if you want to go in and adjust it, then you can. And obviously the sound is incredible. That 225 watt speaker system is brilliant. You have the option to Miracast and also to Bluetooth, and you can set it to Bluetooth to a speaker, Bluetooth pairing, or Bluetooth out to a compatible speaker set. I really like the quick access to all of your image settings and your advanced controls. This can be accessed just by pressing the settings button on the remote control. And you can go in and change a whole host of things. I'm not gonna bore you in this video. If you do want me to do a separate video about everything that it's got, then I will do so. But within this setting, you can change everything from the wall color. So if you are projecting onto a colored wall, it will adjust the picture accordingly to selecting things like your 3D inputs and your resolution. You can also go into the advanced settings and change the individual colors so that you can get the color temperature exactly right and the individual hue so that you've got the color calibration exactly how you want it. It really is one of the most advanced that we've seen. It's almost similar, but a different design to the BenQs. You also have a frame interpolation setting or MEMC, which is motion enhancement motion compensation. And this is where the projector will add extra frames to make sure the motion is smooth. Now for sports, this can be a great thing. I only needed to set it to low for it to be at its best, but some people may want it higher. The fan noise on this projector is well within acceptable levels. I was getting a room reading with the projector off at around 27 to 28 decibels. It turned on and went to around 36 to 37. After it went through the opening sequence, it then settled down to around 32 to 33 decibels. And with those incredible speakers, you never really noticed the noise of this thing. With triple laser ultra short throw projectors, you do tend to get better colors. And this is no different. This has 100% of the BT 2020 color gamut. You can, as I mentioned earlier, obviously change the colors to your heart's content, depending on what your preference is. The other thing that I noticed with this projector is that the upscaling capability did really impress. And everything, whether it be SDR content or HDR content, looked absolutely fantastic. This is just standard definition TV being played through it, but it looks impressive. And remember, this is a 100 inch screen. Now, if you are noticing any screen flicker at all, then that is not visible in reality. That's just the clash between the camera frequency and what's being displayed on the screen. Everything that I put through this projector looked brilliant. This is really a one for all projector in my opinion. It's got great gaming capability, which I'll come on to in a second, but for movies and normal TV, this is exceptional. Now I'll go through some of the specs at the end so that you get more details about actually what's inside this machine, but let's get on to gaming. Now, if you are a gamer, then this could be the 4K ultra short throw laser projector for you because the input lag is brilliant. I measured it around about 17.9 milliseconds, but I know that other units have actually been measured less than that. And it's advertised that it could be as low as 16 milliseconds, but it didn't matter whether I was playing in a well-lit room or a dark room, gaming on this thing is incredible. Now there are people out there that don't like gaming on big screens, but in my opinion, I think they're absolutely crazy. This is the full immersion of 100 inches right in front of you. And I'm sat about six feet away from the screen and it is just wonderful. Anyone that's doubting it, try it and believe me, you won't go back. Now the thing that I thought I would struggle with it is seeing all four corners of the screen, but you get used to it so quickly. And I guess it's a little bit like when you go from a 55 inch TV up to a 75 inch TV, you do notice it initially, but believe me, you definitely get past that. And it is one of my favorite things to do. 
So just before I summarize, let's go through some of those specs. Now this is a 4K 3840 by 2160 native resolution projector with an ANSI lumens of 2,500. The light source is triple laser RGB and that will give you a lifespan of around 20,000 hours. And the throw ratio is 0.22, which means from about seven inches, you get a 100 inch screen. I will leave full links to this projector so that you can check out everything that you need to know. And there's a very handy YouTube user guide and more information on their website as well. The throw distance is 0.082 to 0.520 and the recommended image size is up to 150 inches. The rest of the things if you want to you can pause this video and read for yourself but I'm just excited to summarize. So the key thing for me here is that what you're getting for the same price as what the launch price of that OLED TV is, is double the size, if not more, up to 150 inches. It is absolutely stunning. The design of this projector is brilliant, but design is only an afterthought. But remember, this is the type of projector that will be on display on top of a unit. You can't hide it away at the back of a room somewhere. So I think it's really important that it does look good. But the overall riding features with this projector is the fact that no matter what you put through it, whether it be gaming, SDR content or HDR content, it does an absolutely incredible job. And if you've got a screen like mine, 100 inches, and you've got a reasonable size room, it's going to blow your socks off. I can definitely recommend it. Check out the link in the description for yourselves and let me know what your thoughts are.